guys, as per usual, it's your boy Damo, aka Rome Venture Kingdom. Uh, Homer and Healy aren't with me today. Um, right now we are actually down at the new shop, which my sister is kind enough to let me borrow one of her bedrooms in her brand new house out here while I'm transitioning. Uh, we just moved out of the cabin. I'm actually going to be staying with my parents for the next couple months. Planning on heading down to CEO in August. You guys saw me bounce from Arizona back to Alaska. So now it's time to get that uh, 20 plus resorts in next winter. But that is in the near future. Let's talk about the present. Right now we are comparing our newest uh, ski area, which is Ski Talk in Hatcher's Pass, or Hatcher Pass, uh, to Hilltop Ski Area, which is in South Anchorage. Um, so we're gonna go through some clips through Ski Talk, then we'll go through a couple clips through Hilltop, and then at the very end of the video, we will do a compare and contrast between difficulty, uh, how the park is, price and overall fun that can be had so i hope you guys enjoy the video if you do make sure you hit that sub button it helps the channel so much um even if you don't sub i appreciate you stopping by and checking out the video it's all positive vibes over here and uh, we're just all trying to basically make these connections um and with covid right now the connections over the internet and the world wide web are something that we really are pulling to so i hope you guys enjoy the vlog and let's get some shred stick action going day breakdown with the boys they're kind of getting tired of the park so we're gonna see what kind of slashes we can get in here So you saw what Ski Talk has to offer. Everybody's always asking, how is Ski Talk compared to Hilltop? So we are at Hilltop now on a sunny day. It's March and uh, we're gonna show you the comparison. At the end of the video, we'll do our pros and cons. 
but uh, it's gonna be a good day. We got Ethan over here getting warm, getting warm. <laughs> ski area that's been in the talk for about 15 plus years. They finally got their lift running and they have plans to make a lift to the upper bowl. So right off the bat, difficulty level of ski talk. Um, it's definitely a family fun place for everybody. You can show up there if you're a pro rider, intermediate or beginner. They have runs for everyone. Um, the thing that I like about ski talk compared to hilltop is the terrain. There's way more options when it comes to terrain. Uh, they do have a groom trail but there's also powder. If you guys have ever hit the Hatcher Pass uh, Mile 16 in Paradise Road Runs, Ski Talk is exactly like the road runs. It's literally right next to it. Um, so the uh, versatility of what you can do, especially on a day where they have snow, I believe is a little bit more fun than Hilltop. Now when it comes to Hilltop, um, they've been around for longer. They have a little bit of a wider area with more runs, but it's very limited to versatility. Um, most of the time, almost all the runs are groomed and um, it's basically just a flat hill. Uh, Ski Talk has alders and bumps and um, moguls. You're not gonna find any moguls at Hilltop, which I don't like moguls, but in certain areas you can air them, you can jump them. Um, if you're a snowboarder, if you're a skier, Ski Talk's gonna have moguls for you. Um, difficulty wise for Hilltop, family friendly area. Almost all the kids out here have grown up and learned uh, at Hilltop, so that's a plus. Um, but yeah, just, I mean, even on a powder day, it's all flat. There's no really side hits or anything like that. So that's one thing I kind of get bored of when we hit Hilltop. Uh, next one up is the park. The park at Ski Talk, still very new. Um, the footage from this video was actually set about three weeks ago right now it's March 7th and I just got a snapchat from a buddy today and they just added a bunch of new features in Ski Talks Park um, the good thing about their park is it is relatively flat so if you are a park rat and you're trying to hike the park a bunch of times you're not gonna push much cardio hitting a bunch of those laps um, it's what's also really nice about Ski Talks Park is 
the ski lift is not right above the park. I know at Hilltop, the ski lift goes right past the park and a lot of people who are learning kind of get self-conscious and they don't want to put themselves out there because people are watching on the lift. So I'm going to stop you right there. It doesn't matter what other people think. You're out there to progress yourself and you are going to do what you want to do. Don't let other people watching you stop you from getting it. Um, you see me out there all the time, you know, landing some stuff, falling a bunch. And hey, I'm just out here trying to personally progress. So Ski Talks Park, I actually really like it. It's really good for progression. Um, not as much features as uh, Hilltop has, but it's very good for progression. Now, when it comes to Hilltops Park, this year it's been nuts. It's insane. We're getting into those spring laps and they're adding new features. Um, Hilltop's always going to have some rails. They're always going to have a three set of kickers. And um, they just recently put up a couple uh, tabletop. They put up a little nose bonker and um, quite a few things. And they've had, the, they've had at least one variation of the park since winter started. So Hilltop, great park, um, good to learn, has challenges for every level. Um, one downside I would say is the ski lift does go right over the park. So if you're a little bit self-conscious, that might be some uh, kind of a block for you. But like I said, don't worry about what other people think. You do you, boo. You do you, all right? Um, when it comes to price, Hilltop this year, I don't know if it's COVID, but I think it's cheaper this year than it has been. Um, for a full day, it's basically under 40 bucks. Um, if you're a student, you get those couple dollars off. Super worth it. They just got a new ticket machine where no more tags. You put the ticket in your jacket, you slide by the gate, doo -doo -doo, and you're through. Okay, so the prices at Hilltop this year are prime. When it comes to Ski Talk, your boy's got some problems with Ski Talk's prices. I understand it's a brand new ski lift, a brand new ski area, but come on, it's $5 to park, and it's also $43 for adult pass. There's no student, nothing like that. So you're looking at... 45 bucks plus gas to get out there um, given the options that they have at ski talk i wouldn't say that they are giving a fair price but it's good to support local and like i said they will be adding on in the near future um, but yeah it's way too pricey over there breaking your boys bank so so run this up hit the like button let me start creating some revenue we're about 400 away from a thousand and about 1600 minutes away from being monetized for watch hours so i appreciate all you guys for hooking your boy up and uh, paying attention to the channel um let's go with overall fun um i've been hitting hilltop up a lot this year uh sometimes during the day a lot uh during early season we were hitting the night owl session which is six to eight six to eight is only 24 bucks um but when it comes to overall fun, it depends. If it's a powder day, you hit ski talk and you're there within the first two hours of opening, there's gonna be all kinds of power for you to hit. Um, and like I said, their terrain is a little bit more, um, there's a lot more options to have fun on when it comes to terrain outside of the park at ski talk. Um, the price for me kind of brings it down, but I do think ski talk has a good opportunity for you and the boys or you and the family to have a good time. Um, Hilltop. It's been around for a while. You know, everybody knows on a good day there, I wouldn't go there for a pow day. It doesn't really have the options to be slashing pow and getting mad speed. Um, it's fairly, fairly low elevation, like really low elevation actually, but what I meant is fairly low incline. So you really have to bomb um, if you're gonna be having fun in the powder days. Um, as far as having fun there in the park, Hilltop is where I go for park runs. Um, ski talk, you can kind of go for an overall full experience but Hilltop is just pretty easy if you've been riding. Um, Ski Talk offers a little bit more challenges. So when it comes to should you go to Ski Talk or should you go to Hilltop, it really depends on the weather and it depends on how much snow we've got. If it's a pow day, go to Ski Talk. If it's a warm sunny day and you're looking to hit the park, go to Hilltop. Um, kind of threw out a mouthful there you know i should have done a real compare and contrast but your boys on spring break i ain't trying to work and write down a uh diagram um so yeah guys i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did like as always like hit the like button hit the bell subscribe tell your homies about it uh if you like this shirt right here this is one of our galaxy collection tie dyes you got the screen print ak rome on the back We're, we are busting out shirts out here guys we are hitting the gear we got the shop going. So the link will be in the bio, akrome.com. I appreciate all the support, all the donations that people are giving, and we will continue to push out these vlogs. Catch you on the next one.